Choosing a CMS for your startup, business, or even your freelance career or your day-to-day -day job can be a really daunting task. But if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking that Webflow might be the right choice for you. So that's why I prepared five things you need to know about Webflow before you start using it in 2024. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of a backstory before we jump into the five tips. In 2015, I had a similar daunting task of choosing the platform which I'm gonna be using for my freelance career. And in my head, I was thinking, should I use WordPress? Should I go to e-commerce development? Should I use Squarespace and Wix? And I was spending hours and hours and hours on YouTube trying to figure out, am I making the right choice? And I truly believe that if I've known these five tips, it would help me understand what I'm choosing, why am I choosing, Webflow and that even if I've made a mistake, it's not going to be so bad because I'm going to be learning a lot of new things about me, about my career and the web in general. And on top of that, I would probably save a lot more time, which I could dedicate back to work or because I was, I think, 16 at that time, I could have gone out a lot more and partied a little bit more maybe at that age. But more on that in a different video, I guess. The first thing is that by choosing Webflow, you're actually learning how the web works. And this is a big thing, I think, for Webflow. There are many other platforms which are created in a way that you're using the platform and you're learning how to use the platform itself. Whereas with Webflow, no matter whatever you're doing in Webflow, you're basically learning the fundamentals of how the web works and you're able to leverage that in your career later on in many different ways. You're gonna learn CSS, HTML, you're gonna learn JS with time, and you're gonna learn how all of these structures, systems, how connecting things to backend, to frontend works. And with all of this experience, you're gonna be slowly becoming a frontend developer, then maybe a backend developer and create a more complete structure for you, which you can leverage later on. And even if you're a marketer, learning Webflow is gonna help you become a better marketer. If you're a designer, it's gonna help you become a better designer. It's gonna go on and on and on. So just because of that, I do believe it's a tool you're gonna learn and which is gonna help you understand a lot more more than just Webflow. The second part is gonna be that Webflow market is booming with high quality leads and high quality agencies and freelancers. The truth is WordPress is a lot bigger. Maybe even Shopify is a lot bigger as a market than Webflow. But the thing is Webflow's clients are the top websites, are the websites which have the most amount of traffic and the websites where the marketing teams are living off the websites and the whole business is run out of website traffic and inbound leads. And just because of that, if you're thinking about maybe joining Webflow for your freelance career is going to be a great path for you to come to high quality leads and to high quality work. Or if you're a business, you're going to know that you're in safe hands because even Amazon or like many companies like that are using Webflow and are trusting the Webflow ecosystem to go ahead and run their business. The third thing is that Webflow is not just for small builds. I know that it's marketed as a no-code platform, as a no-code tool. Many people are gonna think because of that, that it's not ready for scale, that it's something you're gonna use until one point and you're not gonna be able to use it kind of further on. But from our personal experience, we've never had a client which isn't able to leverage Webflow for their business. As your traffic scales, as your CMS scales or anything of that matter, you're gonna be able to leverage the Webflow enterprise program to go ahead and scale with that. And just because because of that thing alone, I think it's gonna allow many other people to kind of break their stereotypes of Webflow as a small and simple no-code builder and think of it more as a visual development tool which can help you in many ways possible. The fourth thing, this was actually one of my dreams uh, when I was kind of a little bit younger, is that you can build full web apps with Webflow, Wiz, and Xano. If there comes a point where maybe for your clients or for you, you wanna build web apps, it's gonna be great that you're gonna be able to use a familiar platform called, I mean like Webflow, to develop kind of the marketing website and the platform front end itself, and to leverage third-party tools to go ahead and create a full-blown platform, which is gonna be working and which is gonna have memberships, logic, or even a full software as a service experience directly into Webflow. That's why I think like the total addressable market by leveraging Webflow as a platform is really, really big. And even if you go away from the, let's call, call it Webflow market, from clients who are looking for Webflow, you're able to serve many other clients who are not looking to use Webflow, but are able to use it because your agency or your business is using it. And in the process, get a really good experience for the website, for the content management system, or even create a no-code app, which is going to be way, way cheaper than custom development. 
Fifth thing is gonna be that it's gonna be harder than you think. This is actually one of the problems maybe with the industry or whatever. There's a lot of things which are marketed on gonna, how are you gonna do things fast? How are you gonna do things until tomorrow, until like yesterday or whatever? What? And the thing is, you can do a lot of things really, really fast in Weblo, but that's not the point. When you actually start working on client projects, when you start working on your own business, you're gonna realize that in order to compete in today's market, you're gonna need to have a lot more than just a single landing page. And that's where you're gonna need to learn a lot more about Webflow, a lot more about custom integrations, maybe even like JS, maybe learn a custom JS framework or something like that in order to actually le leverage the Webflow's potential to the fullest. And that's why I think you shouldn't look at it as something, oh, I've spent a weekend inside of it I know it probably not gonna be like that and if you come with a mindset that there is a lot of things to learn that even us at Flow Ninja as we're running an agency of like 40 plus people multiple seven figure revenue we're learning new things every single day and it's gonna probably continue being so until we die I guess like we're gonna discover new things in Webflow but if you have the mindset that there's always something new to learn inside of it and that it's hard and that you should look at it as, as a hard thing it's probably gonna allow you to have much better results inside of the platform than anybody else. And sixth thing, as we're gonna include as a bonus, is that we've actually built a seven-figure agency by just focusing on Webflow alone. We saw that Webflow can help us basically do anything online, and we doubled down and, and said, this is the only platform we're gonna use. We're gonna get clients from Webflow, from SEO, we're gonna sell clients on Webflow, we're gonna migrate clients from other platforms, whatever. But it allowed us to leverage a single tool to work with enterprises like Upwork, Checkout.com, like many famous football clubs, and leverage the core backend which we know which all of our team can be trained upon and in the process I mean like generate a lot of revenue generate a lot of jobs and create a company which is growing in a really lean way and where knowledge share is a lot easier I have a lot of friends who are running different agencies and in that case they have some people working in one language in another language in like there's gonna be just a lot of different kind of platforms they're usually using when developing in an agency world which creates a lot of overhead and SOPs to manage so by adopting Opting Webflow and understanding that you can basically do anything inside of it, you're able to create a single SOP for your company or for your agency if you're running an agency and run everything uh, with one single process, which is the thing with, which allowed us to scale this quickly and which probably kind of helps agencies around the world scale much better and much easier by leveraging Webflow. If you're considering uh, choosing Webflow or WordPress, we also have a video around that somewhere here or here. We'll see where Misha puts it. And uh, if you have any things that people need to know about about before moving to Webflow, you can drop a comment down below and we'll make sure to answer every single one of your questions.